Hello, my students. It's good to see you once again. I hope you are all doing great as we come into another lesson that has something to do with our population. Living in this world surrounded by amazing things and unexpected moments, you might have already experienced being asked by a child about why do couples have children? That curiosity would be quite awkward to answer, isn't it? But I am sure it made you stop and think about how you could possibly respond to it without painting unnecessary thoughts to the mind of the children. In a similar perspective, demographic learners also figure out why developing countries have a higher population growth compared to countries already developed. For today's video, we will expand your understanding about the structure of the human population and the drivers of its growth through our topic today, the global demography. To better understand demography, let us first define statistics. Statistics is the science of collecting, organizing, presenting, analyzing, and interpreting numerical data to assist in making more effective decisions. If you could remember, there are times members of some statistical organizations come into our homes to collect numerical data such as the numbers of people living per household. After processing the gathered data, it will further undergo a study or simply called demography. Demography is the study of statistics such as birth, death, income, incidence of disease, which illustrates the changing structure of the human population. Since there are some causes that modify the world's population over time, it is imperative to say that the rate of the human population is constant. So, what are the drivers of population growth? Urbanization People from rural areas move to the urban for the desire of the advantages that urban has to offer. Urban advantages include greater opportunities to receive education, health care, and advancement in careers such as better job opportunities. Migration Migration is the movement of people from one place to another. This movement changes the population of a place. Immigrants add to the total population and emigrants are subtracted from the total population. Immigration and emigration? Aren't they just similar? Wait, let us have a simple grammar lesson. You might be confused about the difference between the two since we commonly use them interchangeably. Well, immigration and emigration are both called migration. However, the two are somehow different from one another. If you are referring to coming into another country to live there, you will use the term immigration. But if you are to leave your own country to live into another, you will use the term emigration. The drivers of population growth situate the previous questions that we have asked from the beginning of our lesson. People produce children to simply build a family. Just as in demography, it serves as a contributor that drives growth to the structure of the human population. That is all for now, my dear students. I am Mrs. Gloria P. Balimbin, asking you to please like, subscribe, and tap or click the notification bell to get you more updated for our incoming lessons. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.